you take care of what you had to do? Everything's in place. How about you? It shouldn't be much longer. This better work, Mike. If it doesn't... Goodbye, me. Mind if I sit here? Go ahead. It'll save me from having to call in the squad. All done running? Never was. Yeah, well, whatever you call it, I'm here to bring you in. Glad you're not making a fuss about this. I call it you, remember? So, here we are, Agent Thornton. Guess you can go home again. If by home you mean prison. Mr. Westridge first spoke to you in this room, didn't he? Interrogated, actually. It was a really dull conversation. When he asked you why you volunteered for Alpha Protocol, do you remember what you told him? I think I told him I was in for the action. Sure feels that way now. I want to serve my country. And you think by being assigned here is the best way to do that? Give me a mission and I'll prove it. Well, that didn't turn out like you thought. When the reality met the expectation, reality won out. There's a lesson there, I think. You see, that's what I find interesting about you as a case study. When it came down to it, you found your job was more important. The mission. Maybe a hint of duty. We all imagine how we'd act when tested. Not many people ever get the chance. You did. Did you like who you became, Mike, when reality came knocking? You'll have to excuse me, but I asked for this next part to be recorded for posterity. I wanted to make sure it's captured perfectly. It was worth it. I'm gonna see this mission through, Leyland. Henry. I'm gonna see you arrested for those people you killed, and see that Halbeck answers for its crimes. Really? Count on it. All right, Thornton. I think you misunderstand me. You see, I'm not here to gloat. I'm here to offer you a deal. I'm not giving up the film footage, see- I don't care, Mike. That's a separate appointment in my calendar. Right now, we're discussing you and Helbeck. What are you talking about? If you stay here, it isn't going to turn out well for you. The best you could have hoped for was to be captured by Alpha Protocol. Then they can erase you, quietly. To me, that seems like a waste of talent. Really? Really? Do you know why I used you in the first place? I'm all ears. Because I recognize an asset when I see it. That is the reason Helbeck is where it is today. And why our numbers are so high. It's also why Mr. Marburg chose to work for me. It's because I recognize value and I reward loyalty. You're offering me a job. Mike, you already work for me. I just like to make it official. We have an excellent insurance package. What makes you think I'd even consider that? Because you can't go back. You killed CIA agents in the line of duty. Those Marines you killed in Moscow. No American agent gets away with that in the end. You're not pretending to be a rogue agent anymore. You are one. They'll execute you. Me? I have a different perspective on the situation. I know what you did needed to be done to achieve results. It's a rare quality to find someone willing to think outside the box. I still haven't heard your terms yet. And it sounds like you've made this offer before. This was the same talk Marburg and I had a long time ago. Although I didn't know his agency connection when I hired him. You're a special case. I was able to recruit right from the source. So, a few things. One, you're going to be executed at worst, or at best, spend life in a CIA prison in Eastern Europe. Two, this will be the last conversation you will have with another human being. And three, it really wasn't my fault that this whole situation happened, but I think you already recognize that. Not your fault? Oh, of course not. Not the missiles, the killing, the world destabilization for profit. Nope, you're blameless. Mike, your government needed my contracts. They hired me to build this place. And worst of all, they created you. 
worst of all? Yes, because when they create programs like this, there's no accountability. And when people never have to answer for the things they do... People need to be protected. Sometimes it's necessary. No, it's not. You're sitting in a cell because of it. Your life over. Because of something they did, they'll never have to answer for. I can fix that. We can fix that. How? Make them accountable. I don't need Alpha Protocol anymore. It's going to be shut down, sanitized. But if selected footage reached the world about its presence, well, that might be the best for all parties. What? So you can make new hostilities, drive up sales? My role in this is already protected. You got my missiles back. Shahid is dead, and all your operations in Taipei, Moscow, Rome, it didn't change anything. I can give you freedom, a new lease on life, even a villa of your choosing anywhere in the world. All I need is your cooperation. So, is it a deal or not? A future or no future at all? So, I say yes. Now what happens? Any moment, soldiers are going to come through that door and take you back to the medical bay you started this whole business in. Me, they could care less about. As long as I'm still around to negotiate with senators and forget I ever saw anything here. So all I need to do is escape. And then... what? You have friends as well as enemies. One will contact you soon enough, I imagine. You're resourceful that way. You won't have much time until they sanitize this facility and destroy all the existing records. You'll need to get that data, and I doubt the staff will allow you to reach it. So you want me to expose this place? Yes. I have a vested interest in seeing this program be dragged out into the light. All right. There is one other thing. Miss Tang, Mina, the one who helped you, I'm afraid she'll have to be killed. Why? If you need a reason, speak to her. You'll understand why after the conversation. I doubt it. We'll see. Are you ready, Mike? The grand finale's about to begin. Once the soldiers come through that door, it's going to be you against the world. You know, I don't like you much. This, Mike, is business, and I really don't care. For the record, I think you're a pain in the ass. But I prefer to see results, not let emotions bleed into it. Let's get this started, then. I almost feel sorry for them. Don't. I'll make it quick. Agent Thornton, allowing yourself to be captured, making us go through the effort of bringing you here. <laughs> well done. It was the only way to find this place quickly, and I knew you were looking for me. It seemed time to kill two birds with one stone, pardon the metaphor. Indeed. Well, as I said, well done. Well, I confess I'm disappointed things ended like this. I was hoping to convince you to work for us. If not Albeck, then the VCI. But that would depend on you. Not a chance. I don't expect I'll see you again, Agent Thornton. Your mission ends here. Doc will be along in just a bit to administer your meds. Nice knowing you, Thornton. Thank you. 
This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Damn, which one? Last chance, guys. Back up your files. Agent? Or is it just Mike Thornton now, with the rank stripped away? Never understood why we had titles anyway. Meaningless. I don't understand why you wanted to speak to me. If you think I can help you, you're wrong. We'll see. I think you'll want to hear what I have to say. Parker, the plan you arranged with Halbeck, it's not gonna work. Really? Doubtful. I thought there was a chance you might return. You are resourceful. Even for a rogue agent. Well, I have you all to thank for being rogue, don't I? I thought it would just be a cover, but you made it real. If you blame me for this, then you're in error. Miss Tang is to blame. You're saying Mina gave me up? And she ordered the missile strike? The first was done by her, yes. The second was the result of orders we received. She was not responsible for that. I would have preferred you return here, where you could be monitored. As you can see, letting you run around is dangerous. And... Well, despite your flaws, you are a valuable resource. Somehow I'm not surprised. Never got the sense she liked me much. What do you want? There's little I can do for you, so make it quick. Why did you try to kill me in Saudi Arabia? I know you sent the coordinates to Halbeck so they could drop a missile on me. To kill both you and Shahid and erase the evidence of the missiles, yes. The math was logical. But I'm not surprised you find it confusing. So you never even asked? compromised mission data to a contractor. Why? Compromised? No. As I said, I was ordered to. As much as you were tasked to kill Shahid, I was tasked to kill you. A waste, but all evidence of the sale of the missiles was to be deleted, including the agent. That's why you were the new recruit, the one to take the fall. Halbeck's interests had to be protected because it's our national interests. So that makes Leyland in charge now? Of an entire branch of a U.S. agency? No. We were ordered to assist him in recovering his missiles, in assassinating Shahid, and then killing you. He was given access to the facility and our resources. But why? Why did we cooperate? There's no reason to ask why. You can't tell me that you didn't suspect something was wrong. Nothing was wrong, Thornton. As I said, Halbeck had proper authorization. They asked permission, and they got it. And Westridge didn't object? No, because like me, he follows orders. We were asked to get an agent to do Leyland's job and to contract me for my services. Services? What services? I was asked to isolate events in the world and create... triggers. While many of these triggers would benefit Halbeck, a great deal would benefit the United States. China grows more powerful by the day. They are Halbeck customers as well, and if they are reliant on Halbeck technology, they are reliant on us. Even better, if they can be lured into action in Taiwan, well, then it buys us time to build strength. And Moscow? Rome? Rome was a reminder to the rest of Europe. Moscow, a necessary distribution center. And the people on the airliner in the Middle East? Those deaths? They are nothing compared to the death toll that would follow if these steps were not taken. So murder's your business, Parker. Funny, I didn't see that in the job description. How ironic. I could list the deaths you've caused in the name of world peace and it far outweighs anything I've done. Whatever. You're a murderer. The title fits. Uh, I wouldn't expect you to understand, Thornton. But yes, the government asked me to design scenarios to promote America's position in the world. And to strengthen Halbeck as well. It was the most interesting assignment I've had in years. To use my analytical skills for something besides system maintenance or compiling budget reports. For a project of my own. So yes, I accepted the assignment. And I did what I do best. Analyze. Parker, it's not too late. There's no need to side with Halbeck anymore. They don't give a shit about the United... It's not my decision, nor yours. This conversation is over, Agent. Damn it. Parker. Parker, let's move it!
control system. You're telling me. I think they're washing the place clean. That means they're doing the same with the data as well. You'll need to get to the surface quickly.
was in there because she was conspiring with you. Guess she deserved it, huh? I suggest you get to the center now, or you'll lose what little help you have. You're not getting far. I'll be watching you. set those charges. He's wiping the data banks. Stop him before he destroys the evidence or we'll have nothing. Keep them off of me. I need to concentrate. Detonation charges. Detonation charges. Only a few minutes. If the timer hits zero... I know. I know. I'll see if I can take control of these security turrets. Got it. If you can herd them into view, the auto turret should help take them out. Like the turrets? Your tax dollars are great. Parker, 
Stop. I'm warning you.
crash site. No, there's a helicopter in the way. EMPs and incendiaries, as well as your usual arsenal, should do the trick.
my squad to your location. Satellites picked up a boat headed toward the island. Must be Westridge's ride. He was in charge here. We'll move to intercept. I suggest you do the same. facility dry dock. It seems our Mr. Westridge is flooding the tunnels and planning to escape by boat. Well, we can't have that, can we? At least not without saying goodbye. Deal with him, and then we're going to take the boat ourselves. Sounds like a plan. I'm on it. Nice job, Mike. But I can't let you leave with that data. Give up now, and we'll go easy on you. Fuck off, Westridge. Just make sure you don't run away before we get to chat. Take him out. I guess I need some closure. I couldn't have made it into Alpha Protocol if you hadn't chosen me. What I want to know is why. 
I needed someone who could kill Shahid, get the missiles back, and keep their mouth shut. I needed someone I could trust. I didn't have much choice. Orders and all. That's your defense? Then it's mine too. I had my orders. We carry them out, send out agents, and we don't ask why. Say what you will. You had what it took to get the job done, and then some. That's why you were selected. It was my life. <laughs> what life? You knew the odds going in. You wanted to serve your country. Well, this is it. If I stayed in the program, I'd have ended up like you. Or worse, like Parker. That someone would have come along who owes one of their corporate buddies a favor. Halbeck or someone else. And we get used because we've been conditioned never to ask. So you're working with Halbeck now? <sighs> Figures. We were all working for them. Now I've just removed you from the equation. What? You gunning for a job? Halbeck's new chief of security? My goals are a little higher than that. Any last words? Yeah. Go to hell. Not the best I've heard, but... Yancey Westridge, I'm placing you under arrest. You're going down with the ship. They may not blow this place, and if they don't, then your home is going to be a courtroom for the next few years. If you even get that far. They'll probably claim you were acting without their knowledge. That you enacted Alpha Protocol, went rogue. Where are you going? Now that I'm out of the box, it's my world now. I helped shape it. It was easier than I thought. And it's time to make some changes, I think. Give me a year or two. I'll have enough on Halbeck that I'll be running the show. For now, Chief of Security in a villa in Italy is enough for me. And who knows? When they make another Alpha Protocol, maybe I'll use it. Just like Leyland did. Opportunity knocks, Westridge. And it's people like you that leave the door open. Either way, you'll answer to me eventually. Agent Thornton. I see you have the evidence. It took some doing, but here you go. Keep it safe. Or not, depending on how you want to use it. I'm still debating that part. I think it'll depend on what happens in the next few hours. If there's nothing else, shall we? Here's the thing, Leyland. I don't really need you anymore. Oh? And how do you figure that? I traveled all over the world to stop you. You think I didn't make a network of my own? I have Surkov in Moscow. Shahid and Al-Samad. They may not like me, but both are willing to do business with me. I've got one of the highest ranking officers of the Chinese secret police on my side. Stephen Heck. G-22. Z. So, I don't need you anymore. I can make my own Halbeck. Then I can make the world any way I want. I see. So, you're going to kill me then? No, just leave you here. You're responsible for this whole mess. So I think it's better you stay and answer all the questions that are going to come and out. what makes you think... See you, Leyland. You taught me a lot. Now I'm going to teach you a few things about how to shape the world. Can't say I'll be sad to leave this place. Although knowing where here is would be nice. Guess there's not much else to do except head out and see what happens. Story of my life. No sense changing it now. Then again, maybe losing myself for a while might not be so bad. Now the only challenge is to keep from getting bored. At least now I've got time to figure it out. And maybe change a few things about the world while I'm at it.